there's a newer feature that's been added to Reaper 7.48. So make sure you update to that version or newer to get this functionality. So the file right here, and I want to create a fade. Right now, it sounds like this. So again, we want to fade this out. So I'm going to go up here to the upper right corner and drag it over, and that creates a fade out. I'm going to make it about 18 seconds, and I'm going to change the curve right here. Right click, this is the default, but I want to use an S curve like this, which should sound smoother. Let's hear it now. That sounds really good. We could also add this new feature called the low pass fade. So I right click over here. Besides choosing our shape, right down here, we could also add a low pass fade to it, which is going to fade the top end with a low pass filter along with fading out the volume. So let's add this in to this shape. Notice it adds this extra green line, letting us know we're using the low pass fade. And let's hear this version. And notice how the top end fades out towards the end of the fade, making it sound more distant and supposedly more natural. Notice how the top end filtered out over time. And we could do this as a fade in as well. Let's go to the beginning of the song. Here's what it sounds like now. Let's add a fade in before this downbeat. Drag it from the upper right like this. Let's hear it now. Let's add in that low pass fade, which is going to filter the low end in the beginning back to normal at the end of the fade. Whisper through the wall. It's subtle, but I think it sounds more natural. Whisper through the wall. So that's fading in and fading out on one audio file. But now let's try it on a full mix. I have a project right here that I need to fade out. And obviously it's a multi-track project. And I want to fade it out as a post-process in a render. Let's see what it sounds like now. So I want it to fade out towards the end of the song. But instead of rendering the whole song, to make it quicker, let me just show you the end. I'm going to start by selecting from here to about here, go to the file menu, and choose to render. And right over here, we could add a post-process fade out. Click here, and that opens up the post-process render dialog. I'm going to go here to fade out, and I'm going to choose about 18 seconds or 18,000 milliseconds and choose 
the shape over here. Let's try this shape right now. Close this. And let's render this file. And after it's rendered, it's going to fade out with that post process render. Render it. Now we can hear it back within here. Hit play. It sounds pretty natural. Let's try the low pass fade here as well. Close this, go back to render, go to our post process fade, go to this dialog and change the shape to this, but also include the low pass fade. So it's going to process that post render, but adding the low pass fade to it, like we did before. Render it. Let's hear that result now. I think that sounds a bit more natural as the top end filters out over time at the end of the fade. So we could do this on a file or during post process of our render, but there's one other way we could use the low pass fade. And that's if we're using the batch file item converter. And again, in here, we can convert our files, but we could also use the post process. Choose it. Again, that opens up. This dialog, we could choose the fade out, choose any shape we want or any length, but also use the low pass fade with any shape we choose. So if you want your top end to fade out along with the volume, this is a pretty good way to do it. And it's a newer feature that's been added in Reaper 7.48. So that's pretty much it. That's the low pass fade in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. It's Repopmania. It's Repopmania. It's Repopmania. It's Repopmania. Bingo, boys, let's go.